This is my favorite place in the world, Knappelskär in Nynäshamn, about an hour south of Stockholm in Sweden. And I live just around the corner here with my wife and uh, we've got a wonderful house, we've got three kids, we've got a house, well, I said that, nice car, we've got good jobs and everything. We've decided to leave all of that and move to the other side of the world. Crazy, stupid, or both, who knows, <laughs> we'll find out. I'm working as an independent game developer these days and it didn't used to be that way all the time. <laughs> in fact, I was an IT security consultant for 20 years, but it was one problem. There was no outlet for my creative side. When time allowed and in the name of Infensia, I created little quirky games. I created game development assets and uh, some sound effects and music that I sold in the asset store. And that turned into a little business on the side. But three years ago, I decided to go full-time independent game developer. And it's a risky move for exactly that reason. And I don't really advise anyone to go full-time indie. But I had managed to save up a little bit of uh, side income. I could freelance. I had my patrons and my YouTube was uh, growing a little bit. So I dared to take the risk. And uh, I've spent the past three years developing a game called Line War with a business partner of mine. We just released it about half a year ago and it's starting to generate some income. It won't recover at this point anything that we put in the previous three years, but it's starting to make us a little bit of a wage so we can actually carry on. And we've secured about income for about a year now on a pretty low wage. Been here for quite some time now, and uh, this place, in my mind, has got a lot of uh, nice times to offer all year round, all four seasons. My wife, not so much. <laughs> she doesn't really like the cold and the winter, which I well, sort of prefer. No, not prefer, but I like it anyway. <laughs> I was thinking about where to put these videos and I want to document a bit of the move. Maybe some people can find some use out of what it's like to move from one side of the planet to the other. And especially with kids and when you have a lot of commitments and responsibilities as a parent. I was going to create a separate YouTube channel for that maybe, but I've decided I just got bit by an ant. <laughs> but I decided not to do that because I probably wouldn't have time to maintain two channels. So hopefully you guys who are following me for my YouTube content in terms of game development and uh, the 3D modeling, of course, Hopefully you can find some inspiration and use out of these videos too and learn a little bit of what it's like to move, how to set up a new business, how we got the visa, for example, that was uh, not so easy. <laughs> but YouTube helped a little bit with that because there's something called a global talent visa. So I can create a video and share my experience with that, how that went. And also about leaving everything behind. We're not going to leave the kids, they're coming with us. But we're going to leave a lot of those uh, nice and secure and safe things uh, that we built up over the few years. So we're going to leave that all behind and we're going to try something totally different and move all the way to the other side of the planet. Gonna be upside down for a while in a warm place called uh, Australia. <laughs> if you're coming to this channel for my actual move content and what it's like to relocate for so far, maybe you can find some inspiration to do either game development or uh, some uh, 3D modeling. And if you're not interested, maybe your kids are, because I've got quite a few parents following this channel that have uh, got their kids into these type of things. Seems to be a bit trendy. <laughs> no, I'm not, but the content could be. <laughs> It's going to be exciting to move. My wife has already secured a job over there, luckily enough. Her company that she works for has a, a, an office down there in Brisbane. So she's going, to, she's going to start in a few weeks. The final things are now just getting rid of the last few, few bits, selling the house, uh, the cars. Oh, I'm going to be sad to see the cars go because I'm so happy with them. And I've got bit by another ant. So I'm going to move. <laughs> so let's carry on somewhere else. I'm gonna miss the acceleration. Let's see if the camera stays there. Ah! Yeah, it did. <laughs> That's good, I needed to try it. It's a long range, so it's not the performance one, but it still does zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.8 seconds, which is pretty neat. That explains why the tires have been wearing quite a lot. I might, in fact, even do a video about having a Tesla because uh, a lot of people I saw in the chat in my uh, one of my videos when I was doing a live stream once that it said, is Infens yet a millionaire? Because he drives a Tesla. And I'm gonna have to do a video of this very soon because we're getting rid of this car in about one week from now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss it, especially that acceleration. But I'm gonna do a video about it because it isn't actually as expensive as a lot of people have thought. And in fact, this will be the cheapest car that we have ever had. And I've had some really scruffy old cars. I've had a Fiat Uno pink one well purple it was purple i said it was purple but a lot of people said it was pink so i've had a saab 9000 which was really old when we got it and it was even older when we scrapped it had a volvo v70 i've had a toyota prius but that was a company car and it wasn't for my company so that doesn't really count i've had a bmw 530 which i was super uh, proud of i uh, really love that car we've had a santa fe grand something the grand santa fe hyundai can't even say the name of it but all of those cars have cost a lot of money compared to this one and I really want to share that in a video because if that's your goal to drive a Tesla, then it could possibly be doable. So it's going to be exciting to see.
Has it been worth it creating the game for three years and then releasing it, not making the initial money back? And I'd say absolutely yes. It gave me an opportunity to do something I really like doing, and it's like taking a leap of faith. And I've really enjoyed that step. And we think a little bit about like that when we're moving to Australia now too. It's a bit of a leap of faith. I'm 47 now, and uh, time ticked by. My son's already 12 years old. I'm spending so much time in front of the computer. I'm sitting in the same place. I've been in the same house for 18 years. I think it's important, and I wanted to show the kids as well that maybe not to get too set in their way and try something new. And it's not just all about taking that leap of faith. There is uh, other sides to this place too. It's uh, wonderful and lovely, and I really enjoy the climate, and there's so many things to love. But I have to be realistic as well, and this place is actually taking a bit of a turn for the worse. And I'm not going to turn this into a politics channel, I don't really like politics at all. But there's been a lot of uh, violence and turbulence here lately, and uh, I know there are places in the world that are far worse, so I shouldn't really complain, I understand that. But I also have a responsibility as a father to think about my kids' future. And with the turbulence that's going on in Europe right now, we've got Russia stepping in and doing horrible things in Ukraine. We've got uh, everything in the surrounding area up here. Sweden is going to join NATO, which is fine or fine not, I don't know, I don't really care. So in addition to the war stuff that's going on, there's a lot of uh, gang shootings in Sweden. And now we're starting to get some innocent people getting affected by this. And uh, also my kids have, uh, in the school and in, in a neighboring school, there's some stuff. Just the other week there was a, a potential uh, school shooting threat, so they had to suspend that kid. Like, we all have our opinions, but in the way I see it, you should, uh, if you're committing crime and stuff, you should really be penalized for it. And uh, I think uh, we're, we're trying the approach here in Sweden where we, uh, for the gang members, we try to give them pizza, we give them armbands to say, please don't shoot. And, uh, I think, in my opinion, they should just be put into jail instead. And now my family is calling me again, wondering where I am, but I'm nearly home. So, until the next video, take care, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.